All right, now before we start the show, or bef before we start the first match, I should say, I have some people that would like to come out here and address you guys. No? no? How, let's ask everybody else. Yeah. Who wants to hear from Dex Royal yeah. and the highlight reel? Yeah. So let's welcome them out right now. All right, Facebook Live fans, welcome to WCWO Live. Reggie Edwards backstage doing commentary. Welcome to the house that Don Basher built, the Outlaw Arena. Lots of stuff happening, lots of stuff going down tonight. We're going to kick the night off hot, hotter than it is here in the arena. Coming to the ring now, the number one contender for the Outlaw Championship, Dex Royal. Now, we haven't heard from Dex since he lost to Blake Money Wright a few weeks ago at the end of the show on Cruel Summer. So it's going to be interesting to see what Dex has to say. He's been quiet. He's been dark, just like he is in the ring right now with no spotlight. Let's see what he has to say. Well, <laughs> well, I can't say that, but <laughs> I have been sent out here to, you know, give y'all some special news. But before I do, I have somebody that I would like to address, and that is Blake Money Wright and his lapdog, Jake Oman, because obviously <laughs> that's his lapdog all of a sudden. Now, I'm not even going to sit here in front like we didn't cheat here and there, you know. Everybody cheats here and there, but I mean, we did cheat a lot, and we don't do that no more. We, we, we turned a new leaf because we've realized we're the best. We really don't need to cheat. I don't need them to cheat. They don't need me to cheat. And we really don't need the other half of the mafia to cheat who for some reason everybody still boos. Uh, but that, that's, that's, that has nothing to do with us. That has nothing to do with us. <laughs> that has nothing to do with us, but you know. But black, back to Blake Money Wright who all of a sudden, you know, he, he's changed. Blake Money Wright isn't that fighting champion that you know anymore. And it's because Blake Money Wright, he felt that championship slipping from him. You know what? Blake needs that outlaw championship. He needs it. He needs to feel like he's the best. He needs it to feel vindicated when he walks out here. But <laughs> that Friday, it was slipping. And he knew, he knew that he could not beat me. Because if I'm not, you know, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at what I do in this ring. And I spent a lot of time in this ring, learning my craft, honing in my craft, doing exactly what Don Basher trained us to do, and that's be the best. And that's exactly what we do. So I can't speak for the other half of the mafia, but this half of the mafia, 
We no longer need to cheat. We no longer need to help each other to win championships. It's because we know what we can do. We know who we are, and that's the best. And Blake Money Wright, he was the best. Oh, he was the best. Get me, don't get me wrong. He's been doing this for, what, six months? And he's already been to the top. He's already been to the top. He's already beat legends. He's already beat, I mean, greatness that's been all throughout this ring. But the one person that Blake Money Wright just couldn't beat, he couldn't beat cleanly, is Dex Royal. And, I mean, that, that's fine. But, oh, Blake, I know you're in here. I know you're back there somewhere, and I know you're listening. August 27th, Kings Never Die Management has told me a great deal of secret that I've been able to share with you today. August 27th, Kings Never Die Dex Royal will face Blake Money Wright for the Outlaw Championship once again. Now, it, it does come with a stipulation because, you know, he got in management's ear. He caught wind of, you know, the rematch, and he went and cried to management. So up until August 27th, me and Blake have a no contact order. We cannot touch, we cannot fight, or the match will be off. And that's fine with me because, you know, I don't, I don't need to touch him. I don't need to fight him because I know August 27th, that Outlaw Championship will become golden once again. But that leads me to tonight. It leads me to tonight because tonight I have to face someone that Blake Money Wright knows all so well. Tonight, returning after three years back to the Outlaw Arena, Dex Royal will face Dylan Bostic here tonight in this ring. And you know, I'm, I'm actually very... Now, now, now. Seems to be a lot of anger in this ring. I don't quite understand why. A few weeks ago, at the big show, I saw a clean victory. Blake Money Wright defeating Dex Royal. But apparently not everyone sees it that way. Apparently not management sees it that way. So be it. And by your own volition, you admit that these two men have helped you keep championships for far longer than you should have had them. So what goes around comes around, Dex. And you know what? You might learn from the best. You might learn from Don Basher, the best in the history of Indianapolis, yeah. But Blake Money, right? He learned from me. I've been to 16 countries, son. He didn't know 10% of what I know. And Dex, if Blake Money Wright must defend the belt, if he must defend the belt at Kings Never Die, so be it. He'll just beat you again. Because you've had a, a hot streak for the last few months, yes. You've looked great the last few months. But the number one draft pick has been tearing this up through his whole rookie year. This was an untouchable rookie season. This man is Peyton Manning. 
My bad. What I meant to say is this man is better than Peyton Manning. This man is practically Tom Brady. Also, while we're at it, this man is better looking than Peyton Manning. And if the rumors are true, this man is even more popular with the ladies than Peyton Manning, and that's saying something. And you know what? Management did a dumb thing by signing that contract for you, but they did do a really smart thing about putting that addendum in there that you two can't touch until that match. Because I guarantee you, if it was legal for the two of you to touch, Blake Money Wright wouldn't even let you make it to Kings Never Die. And since you two can't fight before then, I don't see any reason for us to even be here tonight. You're right, Jake. We shouldn't be at South Kentucky Avenue. You know where we should be? We should be at the VIP room at Brad's Brass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, whoa, hold on, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on, sir. Now, the fine contract states that y'all two can't touch. A am I correct? That's what it says, right? Okay. But he didn't say nothing about us. See, Y'all like to read, that's fine, but y'all didn't read the full contract. It states that you, tonight, will have a match, so you might want to get prepared. So whether it's Damon Real, Damon Real, I know one thing. After tonight, when one of us beats you, they're gonna have to post the highlights, so you might want to get ready. Light work, come on, step in the ring. Hey, hey Blake, real, real quick, real quick before you leave out of here. Come August 27th, Kings Never Die, WCWO will change from Blake Muddy Rice show to Dex Royal Show, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first here. Main event of the night, even though Dex Royal and Blake Money right, can't touch, doesn't say anything about the highlight reel. So we are going to have a one-on-one -on -one competition tonight. We'll see what happens. But one thing's for sure, it's getting hot here. You're going to not want to miss what's coming for the rest of the night because we are just getting started. Now who's ready for your first matchup? Yeah. Who would like to see a title defense right now? Yeah? All right, let's get a ref out here. Well, if I'm not mistaken, our first matchup tonight is gonna be for the Gunslinger Your referee is Makai. Let's get it going. Introducing first. As far as I know, this is going to be a triple threat match for the Gunslinger Championship. Coming to the ring first, making his return to the Outlaw Arena for the first time since the Don Basham Memorial Show, we got Vinny Fischetti making his return, going straight for gold. We'll see what happens. Half the time he's here, the fan's not a fan, but anything's possible. He needs to check this out real quick. I think the feeling's mutual with absolutely not at all. This is going to be a good match. I'm excited to see this. Hopefully Big Pete gets back here to help me out on commentary now. Otherwise, you guys have me all to yourself. 
But coming to the ring first, Vinny Vichetti. I believe he's going to be facing, obviously, Dalton Davis. And I believe Scarecrow is going to be in this match as well. Starting the night off hot here at the Outlaw Arena with a triple threat for the Gunslinger Championship. Like I said, a little bit uh, better of applause. Obviously, he was facing Buck Sexton, so everyone was happy to see him and see him win. So we'll see what happens tonight when he's going for gold. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't seen Scarecrow have a championship opportunity since, since he's been at WCW over the last year. So it's good to see him get that chance and that shot at gold here. We'll see if he can pull it off and pull off the upset in a three-way match against Dalton Davis, who, let's be honest, the man can't die. Jason Levi tried to kill him, didn't get the job done. Hey, and now Dalton Davis is, oh, shirt. Jason, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, Reggie, I just found a pair of headset and uh, just decided to put it on and see where we're at. Oh, oh right. fun. I'm trying to trying to learn technology, bad at it, so here we are. Listen, well, Jason, this is going to be a good match. You know a lot about all three of these guys. Obviously, you know Dalton Davis the best out of the three of them. Yeah, he's a, he's a blessing and a curse to my life. This is true. This is true. Scarecrow, I've, res I've, I've only wrestled Scarecrow one other time, and that was, God. Was that at DCCW, or was that here? No, that, that's that been a little company called Hoosier Pro, and they're, oh. they're no longer around. So oh. I don't think anyway. Is it because they let you wrestle? It could be. All right. I really wouldn't blame them. Cool. It, it, was, it was a fun time. And then me and Vinny Vachetti, every t I, I love I have a love-hate relationship with Vinny Vachetti. We all do. A man knows how to throw a punch, that's all I'm going to say. I've wrestled that man I don't know how many times. Too many times. Well, who's your pick pick, sir? You have to. I can't. You're a commentator now. It's going to be Dalton you, either way. I so can't like trust your I can't trust your opinion. The right man now. just won the belt. He's on a hot streak. He's got the hat turned. Still trying to figure that one out. Don't I don't even know where he got that trucker hat from cuz we literally rode up here together and he didn't have that hat. He had it last week. Fair enough. But he definitely didn't have it on on him on the way up here. Well, as the sounds of lit, my own worst enemy, rain through the Outlaw Arena. As my knees start clicking because the song's playing. It is about to go down. I have, I have very bad flashbacks when this song plays. Really? My knees hurt so oh. much. Let's go to Nikki. Introducing first the challengers. He weighs in at 198 pounds. He is the Sicilian Strangler, Vinny Vachetti. The next challenger is from the deepest, darkest cornfields. He is the Night Demon, Scarecrow. And your gunslinger champion is from Terre Haute, Indiana. He is DEFCON 1, Dalton Davis. And this match is for the gunslinger title. All right, here we go. Gunslinger Championship on the line, starting the night off. Scarecrow, Vinny Pachetti, Dalton Davis. And Vinny just barking his laughs at Dalton Davis. Reggie, Reggie, does this fan rotate? It is hot back here. It I made it not rotate, Jason. No, well, it's about as hot as this match is going to be. That's right. That was a terrible We're match. heating up here at the Outlaw Arena. It is. You think it's hot back here? It's hotter in that ring between these three men. These three men. Oh, look at you with the segues. Ah, I set that one up for you. I'm proud of that one. That was good. Vinny out here running his mouth per usual. It's what he does, and just and another thing he does good: taking the shot straight to the face. I ain't even gonna lie, that popped the shit out of me. <laughs> Family show, Jason. I know. I'm sorry. I realized what I said. No swear housings <laughs> in no, this no arena. No swear I'm bad. Anyway, now we're down to Dalton and Scarecrow. Dalton Davis, Scarecrow, a collar and elbow tie up here. Both men jockeying for a, jockeying for authority and position here. This is anyone's matchup, especially with Vinny out of this match right now. Any of these two men can win this match, Jason. And it would not surprise me if Scarecrow walks out with the championship here because if, if Dalton doesn't take him seriously, which I know he will, Scarecrow can walk out with this belt. Yeah, but let's be honest. I don't see that happening. 
I don't, anything. Don't have a lot to prove. He ju that's his first singles title this man has ever had. Does he have a lot to prove now? Because he proved a lot in that cage fight out back. I think he has more to prove now than he did in the pit fight. It's I, I don't want to say it's easy getting the title, but it's harder keeping on holding on to it. Now. Well, this is true because obviously everybody guns for that championship after you get it. Everybody's gunning for the gunslinger title. That's why we call it that, Jason. One person who hasn't gunned for that championship, Jason Levi. When are we going to see that happen? Uh, well, hopefully not for a while. Not because I don't want it, but I feel like we have a bunch of other people here that are, oh! Anything legal in a triple threat match. Vinny taking full advantage of that with a low blow. I'm telling Dalton, get me right here, buddy. Get me right here. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Vinny with this new with his new tights with this new gear. That, that is I haven't nice. seen it. It's, it's very nice, actually. As he pounds Dalton in the head, which we all know about his concussion problems, so this uh, ref might want to check on Dalton. But anything legal in triple threat match, Vinny yes, knows sir. that. He's yes, making sir. sure he wins at all costs. Nice little chop there from Vinny Machete. Oh. And a running elbow to the corner from Vinny. I'll tell you, a few months ago, Vinny took on Joey Owens at BMFX Wrestling. Took some nasty chops. I think he's. I took, think he learned a little bit there. Yeah, Vinny. You is saw a, the pictures. Vinny's a hard man. For lack of a better term, he is a. What What is the term here, Reggie? He's a hard man. Stubborn. We'll go Stiff? with that because I can't think of anything else. Bullheaded. That one works. I like that one. Anyway, now we're down to Scarecrow and Vinny, and Scarecrow chopping the hell out of Vinny Vichetti. His last name's just fun to say. Vichetti. Vichetti. Why doesn't he have a machete? You know... It'd be Vinny Vichetti's machete. I, I will pay you to do an interview with him later and ask. I'll do it. All right. Well, people on Facebook, we hope you're enjoying this matchup right now. We I know we are here at... Scarecrow and Vinny Vachetti taking it to each other in the middle of this ring. Dalton Davis playing it smart and just waiting out in the outside the ring for one person to get an advantage. And here he comes, get on. waiting for his opportunity, taking full advantage of it. Three men in the ring, one head of hair between the three of them. Let's see what happens. Oh! And Vinny with the code breaker on Scarecrow. I know he has a special name for that, but I don't remember what it is. But yeah, that was out of nowhere. Baron Breaker? I think it's Baron Breaker. The Machete Breaker. Machete. Oh! And Vinny with an unorthodox baseball That's slide through the middle ropes. I ain't never seen that man fly. Granted, that wasn't very high. Hey, on the a champ hey, a championship opportunity will make you do crazy things you don't normally do. Yes, sir. Been there, done that. That's right. I've seen it. Slam. I saw you once do a dive over the top rope onto a steel ramp for a tag yep, team championship match. I remember that. That hurt. So I was scared bad. for you. That was a dumb idea. It was. In hindsight. I even told you that. Why would you do that? Sir, I didn't know you at that time. I'm aware. Anyway, we got back to action here. We got Scarecrow Vinny blocking the Scarecrow. vertical suplex from Vinny. Blocking it once again. Vinny trying to get Scarecrow up for that suplex. He cannot quite do it. Both men down. Dalton slowly climbing his way back in. I'm surprised Dalton's not been in this more, to be completely honest. Dalton doesn't need to be in this match more, Jason. He just needs to let Scarecrow and Vinny kill each other and come in and get the win. That's all he needs to do. Look, look, look at you, Reggie, throwing out strategies. Look, look, you act like you've been watching wrestling for a while. I've been eating a lot of pineapple pizza, and it's... Oh! Oh!
Now, that's the way to start off at night here, Jason. Both men showing respect to each other. Obviously, Vinny not doing so. Yeah, Vin, but Vin, I don't think Vinny knows where he's at right now, to be completely blunt. Vinny thinks he's still – Vinny thought he was chopping meat back at his back at, back at work earlier. That's what he thinks he's doing now. I believe it. I believe that. And Dalton Davis cherishing this moment, soaking it in with the fans, yes, sir. enjoying every moment of this Gunslinger Championship reign. Because like you said, his first singles title, he's, he's enjoying every moment. What do they tell you? Sit back, enjoy the ride, because you don't know when you're going to get another one. He's going to make damn sure that you got to damn near kill him. And later on tonight, Jason, we're going to see who Dalton's facing next week because our main event tonight is actually a scramble with multiple guys for a shot at that championship next week. That'll be fun. Why am I not in that? Because you just what? said you didn't want a shot at that belt anytime soon. Your referee is Wayne Silver. Introducing first. Well, match number two coming to you guys on Facebook. While I wait for Big Pete to possibly join me back on commentary, I'm joined by Brian Clark. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even hear myself. Do you hear me? I hear you. Oh, I hear you. I Unfortunately, I hear you. Yeah, I had to turn up the volume there. I do hear you. Do you hear me? Can yes. you hear me now? Yes, I do. Let me All check right. the mic volumes here. Reggie Edwards, Brian Clark on commentary. What has this world come to? <laughs> While I check all our, our levels and hold the doors shut. And My levels are never good. Yeah. <laughs> I had all these set. Got to love computers. Well, I believe we have a <laughs> six-man tag team match coming, Pete. Bright. Oh, I almost called you Pete. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's a six-man tag team match right now. Should yeah, be, it is. It got be. changed literally as we were coming on the air. It did? I'm for it, though. I... I to be honest, I don't even know what matches they were, how it, what it got changed to. Um, yeah. We're coming in the ring now. This should be interesting. This is the first time we've seen this tandem, this faction, in action together. We have the Legacy Virus coming to the ring right now, led by P.T. Hustler with Kenneth James and our also humble... Down to earth, as always, territorial champion, Tom freaking Van Zant. Yeah. It's always fun to see him. Yeah, I'm going to plead the fifth. F I F. Fifth. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to interview him at some point later tonight. You will. I'm going to make sure I stay distracted and working on these technical issues. So, fans on Facebook Live, uh, we only have one camera angle tonight. Because my HDMI cord went out. Nice. Yes, Reggie just, I'm literally telling Reggie that now. Uh, I've been running everywhere trying to figure out why it wasn't, the other camera angle wasn't working. Uh, I thought it was one of the cameras. It wasn't. I've literally problem solved everything, and it's got to be the cord. Right. Tom so. Van Zandt is so. Hold on. Let's go and hear what they got to say. Jane. Jay Beef. And Judo Master. Their opponents are representing Legacy Virus. We have the territorial champion, Tom Van Zant. Conniving Kenneth James. And your friendly neighborhood bad guy, P.T. Hustler.
First of all, let's get two things straight. We don't like kids. So speak when only spoken to. You heard me. I don't want to hear flapping at your gums. I don't want to hear about your internet chatter. I want you to shut up. Pay attention to grown folks. And speaking of grown folks, listen, I came back to this business for a reason, and that was to punch kids in the mouth. I beat up on you two guys 10, 15 years ago, and just because you got a little spark of hope in your pants, the story isn't going to change. I'm here to punch kids in the mouth. Now, if I got to get through you to do it, here's your chance to get on. Back up, old man. I don't want to beat you down, Santa Claus. Here is your chance, Judo Master. Baron, if I beat you two tonight, you will join the legacy virus. First of all, you think that you can beat me? That's a mistake. Now, as for what you've been talking about and what you've been saying, I don't disagree with what you're saying. But how you're saying it's a different story. So I tell you what, you want this on me, put my damn shoulders to the mat. Jason, it's getting real out there. Oh my God, I can hear you in this other ear. Hey. I have a cool headset. Yes, sir, it is getting real. Um, Mr. What is it? Judo Master? Yep. Is that, is that it is. I'm, I'm catching up on everybody's. Way name. to pay attention the last for the last hey, month. Listen, two I'm months. Tr I'm trying. I was oh, tied geez. up with Eric Onyx. Baron Von whole... Kane, not wasting any time. Get it, Pete. Uh oh. oh, oh Jason you're just Levi kick me out now? is being kicked out of commentary. Well, guys, it's been. Fun oh, for it's a getting match. real back here. It's been fun for you know a match and a half, guys. Uh, I'm sure I'll be Unless back. No, 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 Pete, Pete, we're live on Facebook. Ahead, People haven't anyway. heard you and I together in weeks. No, they haven't, have they, brother? You, you avoided me, me last anyways. week and left Literally. me hanging. Then I left you hanging on the dub. Got kicked out of my Let's own Let's get love this going. Getting kicked out of the dub commentary. It's fine. Get in here. <laughs> PT Hustler not wasting any time telling the fans how he – Pete, it's been just may mayhem out there all night. I, I, there's no control over these guys. PT, PT and Tom Van Sant have already both gone off on the fans, try to recruit Judo Master. Barry and Von Cade's got in the face of PT. The match hasn't even started yet. Pete, you look good without the beard. Hey, what's going on, Reggie? I've How you doing, brother? I missed you. I missed you so much, Pete. I'm so glad you're back. Yeah, I yeah. called the match, one match last week without you, and uh, thank God you're back. Hey, it's good to be back, man. Well. Ladies and gentlemen on Facebook, the team is back together. We are going to be live on Facebook for the majority of the night without stopping, with the exception of the of intermission. So let's see how things go. We got a three a six man tag team match going right now. The Legacy Virus in the ring in action for the first time. The in ring debut of the Legacy Virus taking on Judo Master Baron Monkane and Jay Beave. Yeah. Oh. Pete, we got some guests. We got some guests. Since you since you guys are nice to everybody now, does that mean I you're, you're nice to me too? Hey, Pete, how you doing, Pete? I'm doing all right. How you doing, brother? Pete, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I missed y'all last week, man. I really did. 
I'm doing, I'm doing good too. Yeah. I'm doing good too, guys. Are you guys? How have you guys been? You, you, have you guys been good? Oh, hey, Regina. How you doing? Well, that, is, that is Reggie's How you doing, Regina? I haven't seen you over there. Your hair looks nicer up here. Thank you. Thank you. See, they can, yeah. see, they, they like me. No, we didn't say all that. They, you didn't have to. No, I don't think we said all that. You don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I didn't hear them say they like you. I heard them just say. When is my Kendo Mafia shirt coming in? <laughs> you said I could. You said I could have one. Hey, 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 what side you wear? Five uh, X, man. Uh, uh, we, got you. We, got you. we got it coming. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, what size you wear? Uh, Large. Just medium. <laughs> that is the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Dex Royal. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> he gets yes. his clothes at Sears where they match the tags together. <laughs> the little animal tags. I don't think the baby cap, you know, sells. They, I tried. They don't. Yeah. I mean, on the back of your shirt, we can put uh, items. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Sh shouldn't you be getting ready for uh, a we're match? Always, to we're always ready. <coughs> By the way, thanks thanks for letting me come out there with you for our for our, our Kendo Mafia promo. I thought I was part of the team. Huh? Yeah. 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 Your, your, your brother said I was in. Skull Crusher said I was in. Uh, Skull Crusher no. said I was in. No. Jordan said I was in. Russian number five said I was good. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Russian number five. Is, is that guy? Yeah, no, are we supposed to be talking uh, about this Yes. Yeah. 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 As always, the Kendo Mafia making everything about themselves and not paying attention to the match that's in the ring. All right. All right. The legacy virus? Here, here's a, here's a re, here's an actual question for you guys. If the legacy virus continues to spread and grow, will we eventually see the Kendo Mafia stand their ground and take on the legacy virus? I mean, if they knees can handle it. Ooh. If they max can handle it. Ooh. I mean, it, they there doesn't seem to be a stop to it, so. James, you know the reason why he selected Dex Royal, Damian Real, and Damian Real to be in the Kendo Mafia? It's because we are greatness. 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 And he's greatness, even though we don't see eye to eye right now. Even he's greatness. And he understands that greatness needs to hook up with greatness. And every family has their differences from time to time. We, we don't know if, you know, they'll, they'll be able to hang with us. Here's the question. Where is Jordan tonight? Listen. Where is he? Is this is for all three of you, actually. Vacation. This is for all three of you. Pete would know. Pete would know. on vacation. He deserves a vacation. He had a monster, you know. Yo, Dex. And Judo Master is out. I am in the mafia. All right. I'm in the mafia. Right, I'm in the mafia. has declared this match. It's thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody calling the ambulance? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a short break. We will be back shortly.